Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N's Robot Review in partnership with robocube.co.uk your destination for everything STEM. This week I'm going to be introducing you to Clickbot. Let's check it out. Clickbot is an advanced intelligent robot designed for children and adults with built-in functions for education and entertainment as well as a range of sensors. Clickbot is made up of a series of modules which click together, allowing you to piece this robot together in over 50 pre-designed setups as well as getting creative and designing and programming your own Clickbot. Due to the unique design of this robot, it is able to climb, walk, roll along the ground paint, dance and so much more. Clickbot comes in a range of different kits. There's the starter kit, the standard kit, the full kit and the maker kit. Each of these kits comes with a wider range of parts for Clickbot, allowing you to maximise your use of the robot by accessing all of those pre-designed setups and being able to be as creative as you wish. Today, I'm going to show you what's included in the starter kit and introduce you to two of the robots that you can make with it. These are BIC, a cute little self-balancing two-wheeled robot, and the BAC, a tall standing smart scientist who likes to dance. So let's get the kit open and see what's included. Inside the starter kit, you will find two wheels, a box of accessories, a brain, four modules, one skeleton, one holder and mount, and a foot for standing the robot on a table. The first thing I'm going to do is take the brain out and switch it on. You can access the power switch at the back of the brain behind a rubber flap. Once Clickbot is turned on, you'll see it has an eye moving around in the middle of the screen. To access Clickbot's menu, as well as to learn how to build back and back, simply put your finger at the bottom of the screen and swipe up, and this will get you into the menu screen. Once you're in the menu screen, by swiping left or right, you can access different functions for Clickbot. First, I'm going to show you how to piece together BIC, which is a self-balancing two-wheeled robot. So I'm going to swipe the screen to the left and tap on BIC, and this is going to open up a set of instructions on the screen for how to piece this robot together. you see on the screen that the first thing I'm being asked to do is to attach a module to the base of the brain. So I'm going to get my modules out of the box. Some of the modules will already be attached together in the box, but to get them apart, all you have to do is force one up and force one down, and they simply click apart. So now that I've separated my modules, I'm going to turn around the brain to the back. You'll see there is a circle there with different connection points, and this matches up with the circles that are on the modules. On the module, you want to match up the short bits of plastic connectors with the long bits of plastic connectors on the back of the brain and then press the module to the back of the brain and you should hear it click together. You'll see that the next instruction now is to attach a wheel and it says to attach it to the flashing connector. If I turn Clickbot round to the side, you will see that now on the module it has two flashing circles, one on each side. This is telling me that that is where I have to attach the wheels to so that you don't go wrong and attach them to the wrong part of the module. Once again, you want to match up the short plastic connections with the long plastic connections and click these together. Once the final wheel is connected, it tells you to stand back on a flat surface so it can work out its balance. So that's what I'm going to do. Keep it on the table, keep my hands on the sides until I can feel the robot take up its own balance. And there we go, Bic has found his balance. I would suggest, until you are somewhere that you are ready to play with Vic, that you pick him up off of a table because he is likely to roll himself completely away off the table. I'm going to take him through to my son's playroom, let him roam about and show you what Vic can do.
So you'll see that Bic is having fun exploring the environment. It's making a lot of sounds, it's going in different directions, and whenever it bumps into an object, it is automatically correcting itself by reversing or turning to explore what different ways it can go. It's quite fun watching Bic explore its environment with all the different reactions it has such as shaking its head and lots of different noises to express its confusion or excitement at discovering different things. So now that we've let Bic explore its environment, it's time to show you what Bac is like. To create Bic, we need to get Bac into the menu page and to do that, we again just swipe up from the eye on the screen. And now we're back at the menu where we can swipe left or right. So I'm going to select back and then again I'm going to follow the instructions and the flashing connectors to piece back together. You'll notice that the last instruction for back was to make sure that the foot mount was stuck to the table. This is because back moves about quite forcefully and is a very strong robot, so it will fall over if it is not stuck to the table. You can have a lot of fun with back. For example, he's been programmed so that he has a tickly head. So if you give him a scratch on his head, you can watch how he reacts and you can see the change in his eye and there's a wee shake of his head there as well. You can also try covering Back's eye and see how he responds. Back has quite a lot of personality. You see that when I'm not doing anything with it, it just decides to keep moving and exploring around. But now I'm going to show you a couple of the fun things that you can do with Back. So again, we're going to have to swipe up on the eye and get into that menu. This can be tricky because Back keeps moving around. Once in the menu, the first thing you see is called Back's play box. So I'm going to tap on that. The first option in Back's play box is quiz, which is just a general knowledge quiz where you'll be asked a question and you'll have two options of answers and you simply respond by moving in front of back. So I'm going to tap into the quiz and show you exactly how this works. To answer the question, you need to wave left or right across in front of back's camera about 10 centimeters away. Your multiple choice answers will have one on the left side and one on the right side. So obviously wave to the left for the left answer and right for the right answer. You need to answer before the timer runs out. So you saw there in the quiz that I gave a correct answer, an incorrect answer, and let it time out, so you could see Back's response to all three. You'll notice Back's going a bit crazy just now, so let's give him something else to do. I'm going to swipe back into the menu and go into Back's play box, swipe to the left, and this time I'm going to select Dance.
There's another game in Bax Playbox you can do called Green Light, Red Light. For this, you need to stand five metres away and sneak up and touch back in the head without it realising that you are there. I don't have the space to show you that game in this video, but it is a great game to do if you have the space. If Bax spots you, he will celebrate and dance around in victory. And if you manage to touch his head, he will put it down and shake it in disappointment. It is a really fun game to do. As well as the unique design, interactivity and creativity that comes with Clickbot, it is also a very sturdy robot, despite just being a series of modules that are clicked together. Whether it's rolling around his back, dancing around his back or moving around in any other configuration, the robot feels very strong and sturdy and it can also take a few knocks. Obviously, like any technology, you do not want it to take any knocks, but it is good to know that if there is an accident, Clickbot is going to be up to the challenge. Clickbot also comes with a free downloadable app for Android or Apple devices. It is this app which allows you to see the preset designs as well as create and program your own Clickbot. I'm going to look at this in another video where I'm going to create and program my own Clickbot. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you've enjoyed it. A huge thank you to robocube.co.uk for supporting these robot review videos. This has been STEM with Mr. N's Robot Review, introducing you to Clickbot.